that I called today for the very first time in my career on this president. I personally, I have said before, that's impeachable. I personally am calling to impeach the president of the United States. This is impeachable. He is arming known terrorists. And people like John McCain should be impeached as well. If you don't want your vote back, what will it take? If you in Arizona said, I voted for John McCain because I thought John McCain was strong on defense and he was better than the other guy, whatever the deal is. If them saying we're going to arm Al-Qaeda and yes, we know that some of the arms are going to fall into the hands of Al-Qaeda. And how do we know that? Because the president just had to waive the law saying that we are going to arm known terrorists and that that's against the law. So we have to erase that law and make an exception so we can ship arms to them. If that's not an impeachable offense for Lindsey Graham, for John McCain, for John Boehner, for the president of the United States, I don't know what an impeachable offense is. If that doesn't make you say, th- these guys have to be, got to be thrown out of office. If that's not against everything, that's not politics. That's consistency. Well, oh, you just named three of the four people you named were Republicans. It's not politics. Yeah, it's not politics. It's not politics. What do you stand for, America? If that one doesn't do it, nothing will. You are arming people. If they win, you can guarantee, you can guarantee that those arms will fall into the hands of somebody over here. They will use them against Israel, one of our allies in Europe, or on us. You are empowering them. This is not, hey, I disagree that we have knocked out Al-Qaeda, which we did, and obviously that's true. Everything the president told you on the run-up that we got Al-Qaeda on the run, that's clearly not true, now is it? Because Al-Qaeda is growing in Libya. Al-Qaeda is growing in Egypt. Al-Qaeda is growing, and we're arming them in Syria. So if, if those things, you know, you could disagree with, this one, you're arming and, and aiding the enemies of the United States of America. To add on, for something you would yourself admit is not a direct threat to the United States of America. Yes. It's not like, it's not like, um, you know, it, it's not like, uh, you know, I'm trying to think of anybody who has directly threatened us before. It's not like, it's not like Japan and us, you know, uh, coming in and direct. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, like, the, for example, we worked with, uh, you know, Al Qaeda. In the Afghanistan Russia Soviet Union war, right? Uh, of course, before I think before this law existed, if I'm not mistaken, but, but also before they were Al Qaeda, they were the right. Mujahideen at the time, mm-hmm. and they formed into and Al-Qaeda before we that. and mm-hmm. before we had all of the lessons of the past to show us that doesn't yes. ever 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 work. And before 9 11, yeah, uh, let's, let's also put that, but just to say, like, you could maybe come up with some crazy scenario in which you would help. Uh, these these groups that are not good to help you against an enemy you you deem a, a greater threat. There there's no one who makes the case that Syria is a greater we threat to us than Al Qaeda. We did not get into bed with Hitler to defeat Japan. We did not do it. No one would say, "Let's give Hitler a whole bunch of arms." So he can help us defeat Japan. Because even if they do defeat Japan, they will come and use those very arms against us. It's the height of insanity. But I also believe it is impeachable. I believe it is treason. And the president knows it's against the law. That's why he had to waive that law yesterday. 